Hello guys and welcome uh, for tonight's uh, scrims for Battle Arena. So yeah, we have uh, four matches for you in store tonight. So uh, we will be getting started very soon. Uh, we are just waiting for... Um, yeah, just waiting for the team members to get inside. And then we will get started. So just give it a second, guys. I think that everything is all right. Disappeared for a second, I was a bit concerned. But it's all good now. So yeah guys, we are just waiting for the, the final players to get in. So while we are waiting, let's introduce the teams that we have here. Um, so team number one will be team one. Uh, team two will be Airwolf Summit. Team three will be Feed and Feed. Team four is MBT. Team five is Team Suicide. Team six is Six Gaming. Team seven is uh, Team AG. Team eight is Undisputed. Team nine is Model Esport. Team 10 is Bursatu Powerhouse. Team 11 is Koyak Gaming. Team 12 is Baji Nan Gaming. Uh, team 13 is Dream Team. Team 14 is Red Sea. Team 15 is Quack Jr. Uh, team 16 is QWERTY. Team 17 is FFG. Team 18 is going to be Elliot's Revenge. Uh, team 19 will be Quacker. And finally, Team 20 will be Drink Coffee first. And yep, that's going to be it for the teams, guys. So uh, if there is any uh, mistake in the team numbers, uh, please do let me know. I will go and change it in the video description and everything. So... Um
So yeah, guys. Um, this is go since this is going to be the the Battle Arena scrims, we will be playing four matches tonight. Uh, we will be alternating between Erangel and Miramar. So we'll be starting off with Erangel for round number one here. So uh, thanks for tuning in so far, and thank you to those who have uh, shared the stream. Really do appreciate it. So um, we will be getting some good practice games in here as a lot of teams will be uh, looking to prepare for upcoming tournaments. I think um, next weekend there will be the um, PUBG Malaysia Singapore Championship uh, qualifier number two. So get your team ready to sign up. The registration opens tomorrow. And we are ready for the first plane of the evening, ladies and gents. So uh, we see that it's going from Kameshki all the way down to the southwestern uh, part of the main island here. And uh, let's see how these teams actually want to distribute themselves uh, in this first game. And surprisingly, we actually have a few uh, team members actually um, getting out at the start here. I think this is going to be six gaming over here, uh, going around the Kameshki area. And uh, looks like uh, Team AG over here going to the northern regions here along the, the coastline. And uh, now around the Yasnaya region, everyone seems to be dropping out at the same time here. So we'll have to see whether or not that they are going to be heavily congested here. Last night in the BA scrims, we did actually see uh, one of the games where there was, uh, I think, at least three teams inside Yasnaya. So uh, again, these guys not afraid to uh, get close and comfortable, so to speak. So uh, we will be seeing uh, quite a few teams here. Uh, if not mistaken, this is going to be Model Esports, the brown team. Uh, this is going to be uh, Team Cracker over here. Uh, and we have over here uh, Airwolf Summit, if not mistaken. Um, but I could be wrong on that one. Um, don't recognize the names. Uh, but here, looking at this, this is going to be Undisputed. Uh, team 1, Team 1. And uh, this is going to be uh, Koyak Gaming over here, dropping on the eastern side. And uh, we see squad number four, MBT, over here uh, in the center. Um, and Rozok, strangely enough, doesn't have any team members there at all. And looking at that circle, it is quite interesting. It's going to be all the way to the northwestern part of the island. And I think we did actually have two circles like this yesterday. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how these guys play it out. But it looks as though there are four teams actually in Yasnaya 2 in... Um, in Pochinki here. So this is, uh, if not mistaken, yeah, this is uh, Team Suicide over here, sharing it with uh, Feed and uh, Feed and Feed here. As uh, we see Keegs getting a quick kill here on FFG. So FFG going to be a little down a little after losing one of their players really early on over here. Now in Yasnaya, just to give you guys a good idea here. So uh, yeah, it apparently is Airwolf Summit, uh, squad number two. And um, Quacker is going to be squad 19 here. Now, it looks like in the northeastern side here, we do have Elliot's Revenge here, as uh, we have three uh, team members over here, uh, and uh, squad number eight is going to be Undisputed. So they all have quite an even distribution here, so probably not going to see too much uh, action going on here, as we do see that uh, Red Sea is opt opting to, to drop here on the southwestern side here, and they're sharing it with Drink Coffee first. And uh, we see... Um, uh, this is going to be Bungie, Bungie Nun Gaming here. Uh, so it's a mix of uh, Kaki Langar and uh, Geek Fam, if not mistaken, here. And uh, in South George, this is going to be the Bursatu Powerhouse team. And uh, elsewhere, um, I think this one is going to be uh, Model Esports. So yeah, sorry, this is not Model Esports. This is actually going to be Elliot's Revenge here. Lipovka will be seeing that this is going to be... Um, Okay, this is Koyak Gaming, sorry. So yeah, Koyak Gaming is gonna be over here and uh, the gray team over here, this is uh, Dream Team. And uh, elsewhere, I think we announced most of them. These uh, three uh, players here are FFG. They lost one of their players to MBT in the early game here. So we'll have to see how that one pans. It's gonna pan out a bit later on. In Yasnaya, we do have a, um, all the teams actually deciding to loot together here, except for the team members of Undisputed Squad number eight here. Now, they are a little bit separated from the rest of uh, the teams here, so not really gonna be in so much danger. But we see Team AG in the meantime taking the, the northern road here. As they go to rotate in early, there are no teams in Severny at the moment and uh, most of the teams are not inside the circle here so that's going to be an interesting development Quack Jr. is going to be in North George over here but South George uh, should be uh, 
very plentiful of loot as well here. Uh, we'll have to see whether or not these teams actually do want to uh, start colliding anytime soon. I think they'll be happy to loot up there. There's probably going to be other teams rotating in early, given the awkward position in the circle and the fact that none of them are inside the zone here. Now, given that there's so many teams around the Yasnaya region, it'll be interesting to see how they rotate out. Yes, uh, there are not going to be a plentiful number of vehicles available to them, so that could actually hamper their efforts here. And uh, there will be a mad grab for some of these vehicles, I do feel, as uh, we see that the circle will start closing in pretty soon. But other teams, like we saw um, Bungie Nun Gaming here, it was able to already get... Um, get some vehicles over there as they rotated into the military island here for a very stress-free looting phase and uh, other teams are already on the move we see mbt already um, moving out from this uh, central region here as they look to um, get reserve their spot into the final circles here and uh, see how that one develops Yasnaya, everyone is not really too concerned about fighting uh, one another. Uh, we already see that squad number two, Airwolf Summit, is already backing out here. Now, Airwolf Summit had a very good day yesterday as they picked up the first and fourth round chicken dinners. So they'll be looking to repeat that success, but I think it is a new team that is playing today. Uh, as I think all the team members look uh, very different from what I saw previously. So, yep, we will be uh, watching this space here and uh, see how things go but yeah uh, others are on the move here we already see that uh, uh, squad 17 FFG is also um, going to be moving into the northern region over here as um, of course the danger is this if you do not uh, rotate early with an awkward circle like this um, you could actually uh, prevent a lot of the avenues uh, for getting inside the circle be closed as other teams will occupy these uh, compounds here as we already see that MBT will be looking to secure this particular compound. There are not that many compounds in this northern region guys so that is going to mean that it's going to be increasingly difficult to actually uh, deal with uh, anything um, or rather you have to start setting up fortifications. Now in gate round number three we did see uh, this circle actually uh, played to the benefit of uh, Battle Arena Elite as they I think they did take uh, one of these compounds here and they were able to hold off uh, quite a, a myriad of um, other teams here but now we already have um, squad number two uh, duking it out with uh, Qu team quacker over here as uh, inter intra intrace pam intrace pam gets knocked down here frozen he is going to try and uh, get the nade here but oh he only has a smoke grenade at his disposal so he's going to push around the right side here see whether he can get the flank the smoke is come out here from uh, the team members from um, here will summit in their bid to actually stop this, but they are all inside this small building here, and they are going to get swarmed and flanked here by no one's business. Uploops uh, uh, able to get some down here, and Skyrex as well. So, um, looks like it's uh, quite a dire situation as uh, there's only one person left, and that's going to be a clean sweep there as. Uh, Team Quacker wipes out uh, Arrowwolf here, and that's going to be it for uh, round number one here. So they go out pretty early as uh, Blue Circle has not even uh, finished its uh, closure. It's still very much uh, far away. We see that Team 1 opting to go for the two military regions here, but they're also going to have to make their moves pretty soon here as uh, they are one of the furthest teams. At least we do know that... Uh, Baji Nan Gaming here does actually have uh, vehicles already at their disposal. But now looking at things, these teams really like these uh, compounds here in the center. As yeah, as I was saying earlier on, there really are not that many compounds around to to go around. So um, all these teams are going to be betting on uh, parking themselves in the center of the circle here as they look to try and get ahead of phase two of the blue zone, um, which could be very detrimental. Uh, and you do not want to have unnecessary rotations here if it can be avoided as you do run the risk of uh, running into all these teams. And yesterday, I think both circles on Erangel were of this kind of... Uh, were in this manner here. But... Um, But yeah, I think it was uh, Actually, still uh, very much a, a case of... Um, of all these other teams uh, just looking to get in on the action and it was uh, like super crowded in that area. Sorry guys, it's just dealing with uh, some technical issues. Amar, don't worry, there is sound. Uh, I think I, I just tested out. I just wasn't as talkative uh, 
at the start of the game as I was trying to fix a technical issue. Now I am cold, but here for six gaming here, taking a little bit of damage here as he's ro rotating through uh, these areas here. But Yu Hu here is going to be uh, trying to spot out the team member here from FFG who is currently occupying the the upstairs here, and he's going to be watching the stairs very carefully. But uh, oh, he gets knocked out by. Uh, Mooks here, and uh, looks like uh, they will go down here as they already only started with three players, if not mistaken here, unless they uh, got picked off that. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to, to catch in that instance there. But now we see here, this is going to be Dream Team, as uh, uh, we already see that, oh, Sly DD actually uh, getting eliminated already. I do believe it was from the rotation here, so that's a little bit unfortunate. And uh, Rapid Star here, uh, looks as though his team really met with uh, a lot of problems here, as... Uh, Bursatu Powerhouse is just going to try and do their best uh, with the 90... Um, or with the one player that they have left. And shout out to Han, Han Wing. Uh, thank you so much, bro, for the 95 stars. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll have you know that I made sure that the notification works properly here. So uh, thank you so much, bro. You are uh, such a kind person donating... Uh, quite a number of stars already uh, to this channel. So thank you for the support. So, okay, back to the game, guys. So now we will be seeing that uh, Quack Jr. here will be uh, trying to see if they can find Rapid Star here as I think they did uh, get those eliminations. Yes, they eliminated two of the players and I think uh, Bursatu lost one through a disconnect here. But now there's going to be a little bit of a of an interesting rotation here as we see that uh, Feed and Feed here of uh, going head-to-head uh, -head with Team AG on the road here. So a little bit of Mad Max action here. Therese actually gets off the bike here at great speed here and he's lucky actually not to uh, get damaged further here. Now Rave Chow will put up a few more shots here as he tries to get the, the fleeing cars from Feed and Feed here. So, um, so yeah. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so yeah, anyways, the circle is about to close for phase number one here. Most of the teams here have set up their respective shops here, but it looks as though Emandu here a little bit by himself in this compound here as he is uh, a little bit surrounded. He's facing a lot of long range fire from Drink Coffee first. And uh, he does have also the squad members from uh, Undisputed just uh, to his north here. So he's going to have to be careful, but he's trying to reserve this spot here. But others might say that, uh, hey, if you don't have all your parties here of your for your or your reservation, you are going to just give it away. And we see that the circle has shifted all the way up to the north side here. And uh, that's going to make things... Uh, a little bit awkward here. Definitely all these teams in the southern side here have to move up. There are a lot of teams here. Team 1, um, this is going to be um, Elliot's Revenge are all... No, not Elias Revenge. This is actually um, Model Esports. They are all outside here. But it looks like KY got under a lot of pressure here as the team members from Drink Coffee First are putting up a lot of fire onto him. Now, um, does look a little bit uh, precarious with this uh, freeze here. I will just confirm whether or not that this is uh, the game crashing. And yeah, it looks like it's crashed. So sorry guys, uh, I will be restarting the game in a little bit here. Um, yeah, I do apologize for that. Seems to happen quite frequently here. And when I say quite frequently, it's all the time. So uh, again, my apologies for the disconnect in terms of the, the content here. So, but we will be getting right back into it. So again, thanks to everyone who's uh, supporting the stream. Thank you so much for all the shares. I really do appreciate it. Okay, and we are getting back in.
Okay, guys, and we are back. We, I am sorry for that. And uh, looks like uh, all the teams are congesting here. Uh, most of them uh, that we saw actually rotating here were already somewhat in here. But uh, this could be uh, a little bit dangerous as we see the rotation coming out from uh, Squad 16 Team QWERTY here. As they are going right past the team members from Drink Coffee first here. And it looks as though that they will try and um, run through this area of the compound here. And now they are attracting uh, a, lot of, a lot of fire. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a precarious situation for for them, but they will be getting away unscathed here for the time being here. But it looks as though that uh, Ed Madu here for uh, FFG is going to try and get in on the action here, but um, not able to get unlock that birthday present just yet here. But now a lot of problems here. Oh, for the team members of uh, Qwerty as they burst into a ball of flames here. They run into uh, Quack Jr. here, and uh, that's going to be it here. But now an interesting situation as we see further rotation as uh, there's a lot of uh, action over here with the Red Sea guys here. And uh, looks as though that uh, Papa Zayed here getting knocked down here. It should be able to get the res here, but they were driving side by side team suicide there. So uh, they're willing to go right to the very end. So you have to be prepared if you're going to go for that uh, Mad Max type of action here. Other teams are making their way in here on the eastern side. It is rather congested here. As we see squad 11 here, that's Koyak Gaming here. They're all occupying that one compound. And uh, team one here is trying to get in here, but they are facing problems here. As uh, team Quack here is putting up a lot of fire, but they are taking a lot of hits themselves. As I'm Cold Blood from uh, Six Gaming here, able to knock him down. And uh, looks like... Uh, don't see nobody here in trouble as Koyak Gaming here has set their sights on him and uh, he's deployed a smoke here but he is uh, severely injured here and looks as though that's going to be it for him in round number one here. So uh, team one reduced down to three players and oh it looks as though Elias Revenge has been eliminated here in uh, 18th position here. So a little bit unfortunate in, that cir in those circumstances. Yeah. So uh, other elsewhere, we do see that others are making their way into the to zone here, and uh, more rotate uh, dangerous rotations here as Hein Coldblood takes a lot of hits himself, but he manages to get out relatively unscathed as he drives past the team AG boys who are currently occupying Severny here. Now, they are the only squad here, but there is plenty of space for others to move into. Now, we already see squad 20 here. Uh, Drink Coffee first has decided to move into the shooting range here as they look to continue to prevent these teams from rotating freely here. Now, in the south, we do actually see this, this is a dream team over here uh, doing their thing here. Um, and uh, they, I think they have uh, only three players left up here, unfortunately, for them. So um, in the top, oh, it looks as though like, OKNY okay, God was able to su survive there as uh, we weren't able to catch um, the, the rest of his uh, rotation just now. And uh, now we already see that the squad members from Team Suicide are under a lot of pressure by Darkas and the rest of uh, Drink Coffee First at the Shooting range as they try and set up a shop here and uh, actually prolong things here. So yeah. Uh, okay guys, uh, I think uh, squad number two uh, has been uh, made known to me here that uh, they're actually team Padu Madu here. So uh, unfortunately, sorry that the team list wasn't updated correctly here and um, we will update the team list once I am able to have the time here. So Bursatu Powerhouse going out in 17th position there as they uh, rode past uh, some of those team members here. Um, now we see already that squad number three here, feed and feed here, just trying to duke it out. It does look very much like team resurgence here and uh, they are just going to try and prevent uh, the team members from undisputed from uh, getting further in but they currently have this compound here on the northern side here so that's going to bode them uh, well uh, so now we will be seeing actually there is going to be a, a, almost a full surround here onto uh, Team Suicide as Darkas is going in for the flank from the eastern side well there is going to be uh, K-Bytes coming in here and Darkas is going to get some of those flanking shots here he's able to knock down one can he get another one but it looks as though that Angst got here able to knock him down here oh and it looks as though Koya Gaming meets their end here as uh, Sokka and the rest of uh, Undisputed are able to take them out here you know, on the northern side of the circle elsewhere we see others in the southern side here of the map here as um, 
FFG is trying, trying desperately to get in here, but Keeks and the rest of uh, MBT here are going to put the hurt onto them and finish them off. But Asmix is a little bit outside the zone here. He could probably crawl in here uh, with just enough time here. Now, it looks very central across the shooting range area, guys. Now, um, Severni is going to be outside the zone, so we're going to have to see more teams coming out here. And uh, looks as though that um, the team members from Drink Coffee first here, oh, did manage to... Finally eliminate, but they took a lot of hits themselves. I think um, they even lost uh, one of their team members here in that fight there. So Darka's going down there. What seemingly was uh, a straightforward flank, but yeah, it looks as though that um, the team members from Team Suicide were able to give them a run for their money. But now in the northern side here, it is getting a little bit hectic here as we see that uh, Team One here crashing into the team members of. Uh, Undisputed as they try and take out Zrocco here as the last player left here But he's gonna get away for the time being here, but how long is that gonna last? He's going right in the middle through this zone here as uh, we already see feed and feed also setting their sights onto him But now we already see that uh, the team members of uh, uh, Bungie Bungie Nun gaming here are going to take out uh, Zrocco and that's gonna be it for team one as they go out in 12th position here but now the rest of uh, Bajin Nan Gaming here is in a little bit of trouble here as they are facing a, quite a bit of crossfire here with Feed and Feed. Um, but they also have Undisputed to worry about here as actually they are attracting more of the attention here. But now, even more rotations coming through here as we see Model Esports able to take down uh, some of the Crack Junior players here as Viper and Skip both go down. Uh, Skip will be... Uh, Knocked down for the time being, but it doesn't look as though I Cry Sim is going to be able to get him up here. Now, others are making their way in slowly here as they try and get through. Now, Skip is going to be eliminated here and his teammate is going to bug out. Um, but of course, uh, Feed and Feed here, or Team Resurgence, plus one, uh, is actually uh, trying to put the hurt at long range onto the two teams here of Undisputed and uh, Bajing Nun Gaming. So um, again, not going to be able to confirm many kills here, but they are wearing each other down in terms of their resources. So that could play a crucial factor into the later stages as we um, are looking for this next zone to finish here. But it looks as though Team Quack um, Quacker here um, might actually be uh, now engaging with MBT. And it looks as though that they're in a bit of trouble. They're getting third partied as well from the shooting range by uh, Drink Coffee first. So uh, that's going to be a little bit of trouble there. So uh, now we already see that Asmix is going to try and uh, put some fire here, but he gets uh, picked off by the Drink Coffee first team members who are currently occupying the shooting range. Now that alerts MBT here to their presence here, and they're going to think twice about actually moving on Quacker here, move, opting to move around the left side here as they try and maneuver themselves as best they can. Now elsewhere, we already see that uh, this is uh, Team AG has already pulled out of Severni here, and uh, they are just trying to put some long range pressure onto Quacker here. And um, so far, things are doing pretty okay. And uh, yep. We will be looking to see how things uh, will develop a little bit further here. and uh, But it looks as though that Undisputed here really duking it out now. This time with um, uh, Bajinan Nan Gaming here as two of their players get knocked down here. Fleo Flux and KNY God are leading the pack here as they look to try and put the finishing touches. There are the smokes coming out here, but the nades will come out as well as uh, KNY God able to claim the kills there. And Fleo Flux getting stuck there and uh, he gets eliminated. Uh, not sure if that was... Uh, uh, disconnect or desync kind of situation here, but now KNY God is down here. Um, Modi will be trying to get in and support uh, the rest of them here, uh, but currently there's only that one player left for Undisputed who is still going to contest here, but he jumps out and he's able to take down Modi, but uh, looks like... Uh Abang Long able to take him out in turn here. So that's going to be it for Undisputed here in round number one. And uh, looks like uh, we will still have three players strong, but just barely here. As uh, Abang Long really has like no life left after he is eating a mouthful of M249 Chow. And uh, now the circle has shifted south a bit, favoring the um, team members of Drink Coffee first, who are currently still in the shooting range area. And uh, others are making their way over um, from the northern side. We already see Team AG is on the move here. Now, uh, Team Team uh, MBT here, uh, opting to, to move a bit more onto that side, but they are trying to deal with both uh, Drink Coffee first as well as Team Quacker here, who are putting them under a lot of pressure now, um, as they do have uh, the small buildings here to offer a little bit of uh, long-range fire and uh, making things a little bit difficult. K Bytes already uh, taking up position here at the, the shelter entrance underneath the 
underneath the shooting range here, which could be a, a very nice spot here as he looks to try and hold that position into the later stages. Now, there is a severe lack of cover here, so that's going to be a challenge for these teams as they try to navigate to this next circle. It is The Phase 5 is starting to move here, only two minutes before it finishes its uh, closure, and uh, these teams are already under pressure here. Quacker here under a lot of that, and uh, Skyrex taking a lot of hits on his pan. That's got to be at least three hits already, and uh, looks like uh, Frozen is going to get knocked down here, but other teams here are duking it out uh, we already see feed and feed here also trying to go at it with crack jr as uh also there's uh three parties here model esport as well trying to get in on this so young jang here uh trying to see uh through all the carnage over here and try and spot out uh where where the last players are there's a smoke grenade here so kasake will be moving out of it briefly here and young jang will be able to catch him so it looks as though the, also uh <laughs> one of the other team members will be uh, making his way over there. But Yong Jang able to spot him and gets manages to seal some hits here. But things are getting crazy here as uh, we do see that the push from Baji, Baji Nan here is coming in. Abang Long gets knocked down here. Oh, and it looks as though that MPT also going to town onto Team Quacker as they get eliminated here. Now, I'm Cold Blood, a single player 4 6 gaming here, doing some work here as he takes out uh, Tris here. Now, Modi will be the last player left alive here. Now, let's see if he can replicate the same kind of uh, heroics that uh, we did see him play with uh, Geek Fam on the last weekend here in the in, on the PUBG Malaysia Singapore Championship uh, which Gate Fam managed to get first position here. I'm Cold Blood putting up more hurt and it looks as though Body going to run straight into uh, Dreams here and that's going to be the finishing touches on Team AG now. Uh, meanwhile we see that um, um, this is uh, Model Esport here putting more hurt onto the last remaining player from QWERTY here who is still hiding behind the tree here as he looks to get away but Yong Jang gonna get the flank shot here and uh, hopefully they can get Whiskey up as well. So we'll have to see how that part develops here as the circle is about to close and uh, looks as though we're moving away from the shooting range finally guys and uh, looks like it might be a very good position for Model Esport as well as Red Sea who are currently uh, far away from all this uh, action here. The three members from MBT have been surviving here after they were engaging with Cracker as well as uh, Drink Coffee first for all this time. Unfortunately K-Bytes will have to uh, vacate that nice shelter position that he does have for his team. But of course MBT did manage to take out Cracker just now in quick fashion here. They have been here actually for quite a little bit of time here. So, um, so yeah, in any case, uh, we will be seeing other players starting to, to move in. And uh, it looks like Red Sea will be trying to occupy this high ground position as they try and spot out the team members from uh, Model Esport. But so far, they haven't been able to identify any other teams here. But they're just trying to gather as much information as they can to make it as easy as possible for them to uh, decide what will be the right tactic here. Now, we see Elliot here with the AWM. He's putting in some long-range shots onto the team members of Drink Coffee first. So, yeah, he is actually uh, trying to do his best here as he tries to um, uh, prevent them from actually getting that rotation off here. But now it looks like uh, the team members from Model Esport are actually putting up those long range shots themselves. Now they are also going to try and restrict that movement as much as possible. It's going to be very difficult for Drink Coffee first to actually move. Now they are trying to move around the, the edge here, but it is increasingly difficult as there is a lot of long range sniper fire going on here. And uh, now we actually need to see uh, what, what's going to develop from this situation. Now we already see that MPT is starting to move in. I'm cold but still alive for 6 gaming here as uh, he gets in and Elliot able to get that AWM shot uh, from long range on to K bytes here and he will finish him off. So he's looking to finish off the rest of uh, Drink Coffee first as they can't really do much about this situation here. But now Snazu under a lot of pressure here this time from the MBT guys as they are moving inside the zone. But um, it's only a matter of time before Red Sea as well as um, as Model Esports starts to focus their attentions onto them as well as they are all very much in the open here and can't do too much here uh, to actually prevent this from actually taking place. But I'm Cold Blood here, able to knock down Ethan Zor here and uh, Snazu will be trying to get the hits back and he's able to get that revenge um, not. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure whether or not he can actually get his team member up here, but now it looks as though Model Esports has uh, uh, actually decided to go for this loot crate right out here in the open, and he's getting 
peppered from the team members from Red Sea here as they are looking to put the hurt on Papa Zayt here. Going to watch the flank here as he waits for the incoming team members here. But now Elliot does have a clear view of MBT. Um, oh, they actually managed to find a little bit of a dip here and uh, going to actually assist them with their their rotation into the circle we're gonna have to see how this is going to shift now guys and uh, oh it looks as though it really shifts all the way to the northeast here this is going to be really interesting here to see how this develops uh, and oh elliot gets knocked down by young jang here who has an awm of himself uh, for himself so not sure if elliot was expecting that one as uh not sure if uh yeah, he still had his level 3 helmet in any case there. Um, but now we already see Papa Zayed here able to hold the flank here as uh, he actually manages to knock down Whiskey. Now, it looks like um, there will be actually a little bit of uh, fire onto Rexen as well, who's in the distance here. Now, others are going to try and make their own moves here. Ryung Jang actually does look like it was a good move to go for that um, loot crate here, but he is trying to prevent... Oh, and he's able to still knock down Elliot again here as uh, he's in a little bit of trouble after NRL was able to get the res off Papa Zayat here, just not moving as he's trying to be aware of the potential push here coming out from uh, Model Esports. But the rest of Model Esports going to start moving in as... Um, they are going to try and take that early position, but Rexen here going all the way towards uh, the Red Sea guys here. Yeah, see, he actually drives all the way inside to the zone here, but there's not going to be a lot of cover. There is like a rock or two there, but that's going to be about it here. But the rest are making their way in here. Now, Snazu in particular is going to try and get those shots onto MBT here. He's able to tag um, Kings once, and they actually have eight kills to their name here. So, uh, good game, but only one player left alive for them. Kings under a bit of problems here, but not be able to finish off um, in that situation there. And uh, now we will be seeing that um, more pressure is coming here as MBT has entered the circle. Red Sea is still very much outside here, and Elliot... Uh, able to be rest again by uh, NRL but NRL taking a lot of damage and Elliot had forced to run out into the open here uh, but he's able to get to the hill just in time here uh, MBT put it trying to put the pressure here and they are actually not able to see uh, model esports here as a young Jang will be able to catch uh, Papa Zayat here but he is going to come over the hill just a bit here and he's trying to focus his attention he knocks down Kings, but uh, he gets knocked down by young Jang and young Jang going to spot out NRL not able to connect with the AWM in that instance there and uh, oh misses again and uh, NRL goes back up and third times the charm here so young Jang able to take him out here but it looks as though that they are actually going to face a confrontation with MBT very soon here as they are starting to focus their intention onto Model Esports. Now, things are going to develop a little bit here as uh, we see Whiskey is going to start to creep a little bit here. He sees a smoke on the left. He doesn't know whether it's a decoy or not here. Young Jang going to finish off NRL, leaving Elliot as the last player alive for Red Sea. And it looks as though Rexon will open fire here, but uh, Whiskey going to take him down here. But uh, Nobby here going to be to the rescue as he uh, able to knock him down. But he's the last player up for... Um, yeah, but he's the last player up for the... MBT guys here as he moves on Yung Jang here. Currently, they can't see each other too well here, but Yung Jang able to spot him. And it's going to be a one on one situation here. Uh, and oh, Yung Jang able to take out Elliot again. So I think he's really got it in for Elliot this game here as he wins it for Model Esport. And they take the chicken first chicken dinner of this evening here. So they chalk up 13 kills as well to the name. So well played to them. In second position, we do have um, Red Sea here as they were holding a very good position, but they were forced to run out into the open and they had to face fire from not only um, Model Esport, but also from MBT. But of course, Model Esport were already engaging with, uh, with them, but Given that circle timing, it did force them both to move out into the open there. Yong Jang was able to get to that crate and looks as though that um, AWM was crucial towards the very end. And he has a nine kills in this game. So a big performance from him. And uh, now we do see that um, uh, squad number 20 was able to claim uh, third position here. Uh, Snazu was the last player alive who was eliminated by the MBT guys here. And MBT was really going to town... Uh, uh, together with the the Red Sea guys, but they did get uh, uh, edged a little bit in that particular fight. So that's a little bit un unfortunate for them, but they still managed to make it there. And I'm Cold Blood, able to stay alive for much to the end of the game here, even though he was the last player for quite a long time, and he manages to get uh, four kills in the process there. So that's going to be it for round number one, guys. So when we return, we will bring to you the next map, which will be on Miramar. So please do stay tuned, and we will be right back.